good morning children welcome to the class of social science children how are you all hope you are all doing good now we are going to see a new lesson from civics subject okay after following to unit 1 understanding diversity here you are going to learn about unit 2 from civic subject the title of the unit 2 is achieving equality see here the meaning of achieving equality means what to complete something usually through by putting a lot of efforts or skill is known as achieving and equality means what the situation in which everyone has the same rights and advantage is known as what equality so we are going to learn elaborately about achieving equality here under this title achieving equality we are going to learn especially about gender equality children gender equality is the stable of equal case of access to resources and opportunities regardless of gender including economic participation and decision making and the state of valuing different behaviors aspirations and needs equally regardless of gender okay yes here gender means everyone you know well about that male and female is it no children yes and next we are going to learn about under this subject under this lesson especially about the meaning of prejudice and stereotypes and you are going to learn about discrimination and inequality and after you are going to know about the negative consequences of discrimination in this lesson children let's we move to the introduction by starting of this lesson see here the society that will the society where we live here that is in comprises people from various social groups the society were carried all uh, that is no various categories of group of people who are all belong to various religious so such as who are different in uh, the way of styles their way of food okay their way of dressing their way of language they are spoken okay etc so these are all taken over in our society so as following to the different in many ways we believe in unity in diversity okay children unity means you know as well we are all together as equal and to equal to as a each other whether he, he may be as a boy or girl we are equal and the same way whatever may be we are all belong to in a different religious group we here especially in our country we follow the mat, uh, method of what the living of unity in diversity diversity means what a wide variety of something okay uh, uh, maybe but we are all living at what we are all living as a name of unity okay as full and full pledge of affection we are living as together like as a brothers and sister in our nation is it not children we are all the indians so we have to proud of that we are that unity in diversity so we should have been living peacefully along with this various uh, that is no various culture and various groups of uh, uh, language spoken cousins and dressing ways even though the various type of climate too also make us all as a one and as feeling so we are all living in nation okay as a name of peaceful with one another and irrespective of those or uh, there is no irrespective of those differences so full and full responsibility along with the peaceful life we are living in our country diversity is not accepted and the people harbor attitudes of hostility toward those who are different from them here diversity the meaning you know well a wide variety of something a different from each other is not accepted 
as true as what as a fully full formed or showing out okay like as you know uh, you are all belong to this you are all belong to that category like as not we are showing our attitudes but here people harbor attitudes of hostility hostility means what a strong feelings against somebody toward those who are different from them and there in some any special way some people were try to show their differentiation okay so the form of option about other groups and this often lead to tension in the society sometimes so it may happen but most overly every each and every nation were try to keep their nation in a peaceful manner so like us our nation too also followed it, the concept of unity in diversity but sometimes some places were turned as as a tensioned area okay so it is because of what irrespective differences okay which happened from the option of the other groups that is often lead to tension in the society so such options are known as or often it is called as prejudice p r e j u d i c e d what is the meaning of prejudice children it means nothing but what is an idea about that is a judgment of other people as a negative one is called as what prejudice okay prejudice p r e j u d i c e prejudice okay children see here it happened when people have false belief and ideas when it is happen it is mostly happen as what a strong unreasonable feeling of not liking a person who is not like to another one thing especially any one thing it is called as what prejudice okay is and and you can take us to influence somebody so that he or she has an unreasonable or unfair opinion about somebody a negative opinion about somebody is also known as prejudice prejudice a word is formed by two words that is pre plus judge okay it is called as prejudice the word prejudice is refer as what the pre judgment judgment means we are guessing about a thing or somebody or, or something as before knowing it fully so prejudice can be based on many thing like us it can be taken in various kind like us no uh, as the side of beliefs religious beliefs what is the meaning of beliefs children beliefs mean nothing but a feeling that somebody something whether it is true it is morally good and the right is known as beliefs okay children yes belief the cultural belief the custom belief etc we can say as a example the region they come from the color of their skin that to the people can shown their prejudice okay and their accent or the cloth the way of wearing their dresses the style of wearing of their dresses this too also taken under a prejudice so these are all the things where we can see a uh, prejudice the types of prejudice or types of what are all still more the types that is gender prejudice see here gender prejudice from the side of both male and female prejudice and racial race okay or a c e race who are belong to different race prejudice and the class prejudice class means what rich people poor people like that and disability prejudice whether a person who is strong in body and dull weak in his health this too also this ability even you take an example of rich a rich can do anything he can able to purchase anything but poor he never can purchase any costly things so here you can see as a disability prejudice and so on okay so these are all the meaning about prejudice for example you take here urban people are more civilized than rural people yes of course you have seen uh, there is no lot of the people who are living in a city areas they were well versed in uh, they are no way of uh, lifestyles and the way of taking food and the way of uh speaking uh, that is no 
language of english and the way of uh, dressing okay etc etc and uh, afterwards you know uh, here just opposite to the urban people the rural people who are all just followed at the way of the method of traditional way and their attitudes and behaviors is opposite to the urban people so here it is a example for prejudice both from the side of urban and rural people rural people are ignorant ignorance means totally they are illiterate they are not having a sufficient study okay education but take an, an example of urban area the people were well versed along as you no know, as compared to the rural people so here too also we can see the prejudice see children causes of prejudice what are all the causes what are all the reasons that creates prejudice some of common social factors are which are all took part which created the problem of prejudice means one is socialization and second one confirming behaviors third one economic benefits authoritarian personality ethnocentrism group closer and conflicts okay children let's see here the socialization what is the meaning of social these are all that nearly seven factors are the main reason for creating of prejudice one is the activity of mixing social with other is known as socialization and conforming behavior behavior means you know as very well the behave of a person the behave of a living beings etc conforming to behave in the same way as most other as most other people in a group or society okay it is called as conforming behavior and the economic benefit okay to be learn a way how to increase their economic create their source of income through by the way of benefit but whatever may be the way they can follow it so economic benefit also one of the cause for prejudice and authoritarian personality it means what it is a personality type characterized by extreme obedience and unquestioning respect for and submission to the authority of a person external to the self which is realized through the oppression of subordinate people is called as authoritarian personality that is no dominating to a powerless person is known as authoritarian a powerful person who are dominating to a powerless person is called as authoritarian personality and ethno ethno we can say authoritarian personality example is here king okay yes and after uh, that is no king is a very apt example who taken care his public and he have a full and full right to change his law and order so authoritarian personality is also one of the cause of prejudice and ethnocentrism okay children ethnocentrism means what it is ethnocentrism means evaluation of other cultures here we are evolving evolving we are valuing that means what well means we are valuing the other cultures according to preconceptions originating in the standards and customs of one's own culture for example we can say in culture of the asian culture take the culture of asian culture that the culture the asian culture is across the countries of asia that is throughout the asia the way of eating what the way of eating food is by through using of chop sticks with every meal but in america it's just opposite they may use forks and spoons for taking what for taking of the foods here to be unknown the ethnocentrism so way of uh, styles how they have followed it okay as to be as group the culture and next is the group closer closer means it nothing but it describe the ability to go beyond the imposed limitations in order to found a different possibilities in order to found a different possibilities is known as closer and the group closer it is very easy the group you know as very well about the group means for a number of people or things that are together in the same place or that are connected in some way is called as what group okay so here group closer is what 
a number of people describe the ability to go beyond the imposed limitation in order to find the different possibilities called as group closer of children and see here conflicts you know as very well a fight against in between of two parties is called as conflicts a problems a crisis etc okay yes children let me move to the next slide by through of continuation of the prejudice see here stereotype what is the meaning of stereotype stereotype means is nothing but it is about a false view or idea about something we can see here the example of what girls are not good at sports yes most overly girls are not interested as much more on the sports so far but the boys were all very interested on the side of sports so stereotype is learned at a very early age itself from a childhood on itself the stereotype okay it is learned it started to learn and the children grow to have very strong ideas or opinions about the things group or ideologies or regard any stereotype from the right from the childhood on itself so as the children growing up the line of like and the hate that means what they are like whether they are like this or that they hate that goods okay whatever may be eatable things or otherwise they are usable things hate for other things people even though people cultures beliefs languages become sharper from the right from the childhood on itself okay children so stereotype is a character which is started right from a childhood on itself on a child in a child of character example you take down here we can see this along with the example children ragu a boy named rahu ragu was hit in his eye with a soft ball okay soft ball and to everyone's surprise he was shocked at not seeing him to him suddenly he started to cry because he can't able to what the tolerate the pain okay which is hit at by a soft ball on her in his eye so far the others started to laugh when suddenly he started to cry others have started to laugh on him even though his friend mani too also see here, his friend mani too also started to laughing on him so suddenly the others started laugh mani felt sad for him but started laughing along with others see here and starting he feel a lot because his friend got hit from the ball so how he going to tolerate the pain like that he felt but later on laughing on seeing the laugh of others he too also joined with others why this is happened what the culture is this almost that what i can see here why that means in the abu example that you have known no what along with this example see here children with this example we come to know we have a general opinion that girls cry and boys do, didn't cry when ragu cried out of pain others laughed at him laughed on him now we understand that when we fix people in our image that means boy should not cry boy do, don't cry boy do not should not have to cry so we create a stereotype so for that here this example is clearly given a meaning about stereotype okay children let's we move to the next slide see here this were this thought were proof along with the advertisement which we are all often used to see in a where in a television see gender based stereotype the stereotypes are often portrayed in films especially some films and uh, advertisements and even though tv serials too also okay where shown the general based stereotypes almost all advertisements related detergent advertisements washing you have you know you have seen a lot of advertisements day to day ads that which are all through by you uh, are seeing have an opportunity to watch the television no from that you have come to know the detergent advertisement washing machines dishwashers and other show a woman as a main character in that ad okay in that advertisement so 
here the lead or the user of that product were situated by whom by taken by the women so on the other hand instead of this advertisement you take on the advertisement of any bike advertisements or stunts shown in a bike advertisement is performed by a ferocious looking man okay a talented a aggressive man who are all ready to do anything like as a ferocious looking man a strong man were attempting the act of the stunt in a bike okay so these were all shown as what the type of stereotype okay children through by this differentiation we come to know we come to a conclusion where the prejudices took part as a name of what stereotype children next after following to this we are moving to inequality and discrimination inequality is nothing but it is a difference in treatment showing uh, one person as a low and showing another person as a hate is called as for example only this is so indifferent that is a difference between in the treatment okay uh, this is called as inequality not treated equally to a all not uh, treat equal to all the person as same as uniformity as constant etc the different form of inequality such as caste inequality religious inequality you may so a lot of inequalities are followed in such a way like as caste inequality religious inequality race inequality or gender inequality which gives as a result at what a result as at last it is known as discrimination okay children discrimination can be defined it too also known come to known from the meaning of a negative action it is called as what discrimination okay children see take the note of this children discrimination means is nothing but as a negative action towards people showing the discrimination so in the difference in the uh, love etc we can say affection okay discrimination can happen on the base of basis of color class okay religion gender etc okay the color of complexion a color a class of group whether they are rich or poor the religion the various religions which are followed in the nation and the gender whether he is a man or she is a woman okay etc we can so the differentiation as a name of discrimination here okay children yes see here as through follow the discrimination we are going to know furthermore through by an example that is dark skinned people differently from fair skinned people yes of course dark skinned people were not like most overly by the fair skinned people why that means here they have started to show a difference in that one as following to this dark skinned people here are some examples in a universe level like as you no know, in south africa we are going to see uh, as a as a system of apartheid system which is followed in south africa okay regarding this in your uh, text itself you are going to know about the differentiation children but later this problem is quite from the leaders who are all fouted the reformers who are fought against to the differentiation okay children yes we are going to see we are going to learn about a uh, more in a fourth coming of the classes okay children see here the dark skinned people differently from fair skinned people and that give much more important to people of higher caste and this also example higher caste people were given much more importance rather than the lower caste people and the thinking boys are smarter than girls so are all the examples okay children see here article 15 okay article 15 Yeah, article. It means what? A new constitution which created by our India under a section of Article Fifteen, the Constitution of India states it denotes about what the state shall not have to discriminate against any citizens. No, any citizen of India should have to a uh, shown. is against as name of discriminate on ground especially in a side of religion race caste okay and sex whether he is female or male there is no any difference no any inequality in between of this two sectors okay 
and the place of birth or any of them so very strictly the indian constitution is followed and under the article 15 one okay children this is issued especially by our indian government okay yeah, very strongly in india this culture nowadays is prohibited discriminating prohibited especially in a side of religion discrimination race discrimination the caste there are nobody have a right to spoke about others caste and spoke about the genders opposite genders and not they have right to spoke about as negatively of the birthplace of that person etc and their religion too okay children yes this is a good habit of every citizen okay here to our indian government here to our nation also expecting the same from the youngsters okay children yes i hope that you all followed it this the things as very carefully even no children good let me move see here here an example of appetite who of the reformer of appetite appetite means what appetite apartness a word apartness in the language of africans a f i a f r i a f i a f i r i a f r i k e n s i'm giving a definition about this children africans was a system of legislation that upheld segregationist policies against non white citizen of south africa after the national party gained power in south africa in the year 1948 it's all white government immediately began enforcing existing policies of racial segregation okay here they have the differentiation in the race so a person named nelson mandela he is he who given a rights back get back the rights of the south africans his full name is nelson rohillala rohillala mandela was a south african anti apartheid revolutionary political leader and a philanthropist who served as president of south africa from which year to which year see here from 1994 to 1999 he was the country's first black head okay the black racial of state and the first elected in a fully representative democratic election he is the first person in a south africa okay see after 27 years in prison the former south african president nelson mandela was freed in 1990 and successfully achieved the end of apartheid okay but that, that is he he not like to that is no the persons who are all discriminately treated the people of africans okay so far he bring peace to the racial divided country and the leading the fight for human rights around the world not only to his nation he fight around the entire world the racial people who are all treated under as a apartheid system okay children he is a one and only person who struggle lot okay as nearly to 27 years okay and uh, behind of the prisons these are all the sacrifice which are all done by a great a uh, revolutionist he is known as nelson mandela okay children yes sir and uh, in the year 2013 5th december a great apartheid revolutionist known as nelson mandela was died on 5th december 9 2013 at johannesburg in south africa this is the extra point to you children okay children from here i am going to end today's session class children i remind you do your homework regularly perfectly okay and listen your class children without fail okay take care children submit your homework in a correct time to the school bye children take care